Thirteenth question is to learn the properties of definite integrals. It is from lesson 5.4. Here we have piecewise equations and they have told us to compute the integral from the limit 0 to 4 f of x dx. But the function f of x is split into two. All the values x less than 1 is 2x and all the values greater than 1 is 4. It can be directly solved in calculator as well but before that what does these piecewise equation mean? Piecewise means the domain of x varies for both these terms. For the function f of x, it's two different domains based on the x values. So here we have 0 to 4, right, f of x. But we can't have this integral. We have to split it up from 0 to, over here it's 1. From 0 to 1, it's less than, x is less than, it'll be, f of x will be 2x dx plus from 1 to what is the upper limit 4 it is 4 dx this is it you put this in the calculator you get the answer you can directly solve this as well integrate it it'll be 2x squared by 2 with its 2 and the limits are 0 to 1 and plus it'll be 4x the limits will be from 1 to 4 over here it's just x squared the limit is 0 to 1. Let's apply the limits over here. It will be 4 times 4 minus 4 times 1. And over here, what happens? It will be 1 minus 0. It's 1. It's a 1 plus 16 minus 4. That is going to be 13. That will be the final answer. But instead of doing all this, you can directly use your calculator and solve this. Here, all you need to do is see the question. It's integral. Before writing f of x, the limit is from 0 until whatever the x domain is given over here, it's until 1. So 0 to 1, 1 less than it's 2x, right? So I'll write over here 2x, 2 and x. So add this over here, go next and write plus, again integral. Now what is the remaining 1? You can easily write 4. The limit will be from 1 it's greater than 1, right? Which is the maximum limit given? It's 4. So the answer must be 13. This is how we solve it up over here just by splitting the intervals. Since it's in the electronic part, you do not need to write anything directly. You just put this in the calculator and here you go. What about the next one? Again, it's just the same. Let me do it over here. You need to have two times. A first one, here it's less than. It's 2, only 2. And we write the limit from 0 to 2 because the domain is cut at 2 plus integral 3x from 2 to 4. And here we go. The answer is 22. That should be the final answer. You don't need to split it out and do all the stuffs. Directly in the calculator, you can just compute it. It will be split into two terms. You can directly solve it up. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.